Golf equipment that has changed more than any other aspect of the game has been the club. The basics are the same. It's just a grip, a shaft, and a club head. But it wasn't that long ago when a three wood was actually made of wood. Golf clubs have a rich and varied history. When you look all the way back at some of the first golf clubs, you were looking at wooden golf club heads and hickory golf shafts. And we transitioned to steel shafts and steel heads. You know, we've gone from wood, basically, to advanced materials. And it's not just the materials that have changed. Modern engineering of the club has improved distance and control of the ball. Tight little golf swing right there. Some of the biggest signs behind the golf club and the golf club head comes with the coefficient restitution and the moment of inertia of the club head. The technology advancements in the driver head have allowed to have the ball travel a little further, travel a little faster. The higher the moment of inertia, the more the body will resist twisting. The energy that the golfer puts in is maximized and the energy that the golfer gets out of the golf swing. When you start getting a larger club head, you increase the size of the sweet spot that the golfer has to hit the ball. The regulations that were put in place on the size of golf club head were put in place to make sure that the golf club doesn't become too easy to hit. That it was taking all of the skill out of producing a good golf shot. But no matter the technological improvements of the club, the USGA continues to ensure that it's still skill that determines the world's best players.